top of the morning to ya. My name is Tanner and I'd like to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. A happy St. Patty's Day to ya, melodies and melasses. Sorry, I don't intend to do the entire video in an accent, but I did wear green for the occasion. Both my cardigan and my shirt. Now, if you couldn't already tell from the title of this video, it is going to be a St. Patrick's Day special, in which I will be telling you guys the story of St. Patrick himself. Now, considering the story is a bit more historical and a bit less mythological, which is something a bit different for this channel, I will be trying to keep this story as historically accurate as I can. So, without further ado, here is the story of St. Patrick. Long ago, in the 5th century AD, a little baby was born to a family in Great Britain, somewhere in the area known as Wales. The child's parents gave him the name Mewen Sukkot, and he grew up the son of a deacon of the church. For his first 15 years, Maywin lived the life of a typical 5th century schoolboy. However, when he was the tender age of 16 years old, he was kidnapped by pirates who took him to the country of Ireland and sold him into slavery. His master was a sheep farmer who kept him enslaved and captive for six long years. Maywin would later write that these six years were critical to his spiritual development and his eventual conversion to Christianity. After these six years of slavery, Maywin heard a voice telling him, Maywin, your ship home is waiting for you. So he took whatever belongings he had left and ran. He ran and ran until he reached the coast, and from there he was able to persuade a ship captain to take him with them on their voyage to the mainland. The captain wasn't sure at first, but in the end he was persuaded and took Maywin with them. After sailing for three days, the ship, her crew, and Maywin landed on the shores of Great Britain, and all of the crewmates left their ship behind, for some reason. They traveled for 28 days in the wilderness, eventually depleting their food levels. They started to starve, but Maywin urged the others to put their faith and trust in God. Then he prayed, asking God to provide them with sustenance. And soon after, Maywin and the crew encountered a herd of wild boars, which they promptly used for food. Since then, Maywin's prestige among the crew substantially increased. After many more adventures, Maywin finally returned home to his family and soon after continued studying Christianity. Soon enough, he grew much stronger in his faith, and his rank in the church grew, until eventually he became a bishop, taking the new name of Patrick. One night, a few years after his return home, he received a vision, where a man carried many letters, which Patrick read and they all asked him to return to Ireland. He acted on this vision and returned as a missionary to Ireland. But the first time he landed, he was not welcomed by the people there. So he had to look for a place up north that would be a bit more welcoming. Now there are many legends about Patrick's deeds in Ireland at the time, including, but not limited to, how he used a shamrock to explain to the Irish people the Holy Trinity. He explained that as a shamrock has one stem but three leaves, 
the Trinity is one God with three persons. Now, another legend is that he drove away all of the snakes from Ireland, although most say nowadays that Ireland didn't have snakes even before St. Patrick's visit. After many, many years of teaching, in the year 461, Patrick passed away on March 17th. From that day forward, we have celebrated St. Patrick's Day on March 17th in his honor. And there we have it. That was the Blue Pantheon St. Patrick's Day special. If you like this video and you want more, please give this video a like and subscribe down below so you don't miss any new videos. Also, if you have any other ideas for any future videos, please leave your thoughts in the comments down below and who knows, it might just happen. Alright, well that's all the time I have for this video, so I'll see you all later with a brand new one. See you guys then.